Let's get started. First, we'll create a settings file to store the game constants and the controls. Next, let's create states. Think of each state as a distinct part of the game, such as splash screen, a game level, or a pass menu. Let's define a parent state class with methods like update, which handles game logic updates within that state, draw, which renders the state's content to the screen, end state, which is called when the state is activated, and exit state, which is called when the state is deactivated. Let's create a splash screen by inheriting the state class. Here, once the player presses space, the game will start by activating the main scene. Let's set the background color to be white. Let's also create the main scene function and set its background color to blue. Let's keep this as it is for now and move on to the game.py file. Here, we'll implement the game class. We'll set the window size and also initialize the states adding the splash screen that we created. We'll create a get input function to handle all the controls specified in the settings file. When the keys are pressed, we're setting the value to true. And on key up, we are setting them to false. We will also create a reset function that will reset all the controls to false. We will create a loop method which is the main game loop that updates everything on the screen. Inside the loop, we will update the current state and also draw it. This loop will run every tick and since we are using delta time, the FPS will remain consistent regardless of hardware performance. Let's create the game class and run it. This is the splash screen and once you press space, it's going to transition to the main scene. It's working, so let's now move on to the characters. Let's first create an NPC class which will act as the parent class for all the characters in our game. Let's enter all the necessary properties and here we have the image of the NPC as a black rectangle. Now let's create the physics. We'll reduce the acceleration with friction and update the velocity. We'll also cap the velocity at the maximum speed. Now we are ready to create the player class. We will inherit the NPC class and add controls by changing the acceleration with the force. Finally, we will update the physics and the movement. Let's add the player to our scene. We will have two sprite groups, one for sprites that need to be updated every tick which is the update group and one for sprites that need to be drawn which is the drawn group. Our player needs to be both drawn and updated. So we'll add it to both of these groups. Let's create the update and draw functions for the scene. And that's it. Let's try it out.